Now let's look at the next segment of today's session. It's called batch printing. Now batch printing is nothing but a process of printing several files in a single batch. So printing tools provide many features that simplify the process of creating printed outputs of your design. Printing can be as simple as setting up a view or say placing a fence around the area of interest and clicking the print icon, right? And once you do that, typically the result can be printed output to say either a large format plotter or a small laser printer or to a file on the disk. Let's look at batch printing in detail. Now, MicroStation supports the use of a print organizer to carry out this function. Print organizer creates print sets which are used to identify or save or recall and print a particular set of files. Now, this is the print organizer dialog that you just see. It can be used as a utility that focuses on printing various formats like DGN or say DWG or rasters and even your PDF files unlike the single print dialog that only prints the active design file. Now, as you can see, the print organizer's left pane displays a tree view that displays the folders and print definitions for the active print set file. Print definitions can be organized inside folders uh, with intermingled subfolders and print definitions inside each of these folders as well. Now, there are various characteristics of a print organizer, some of which are you can print or reprint the entire print set in a single step. You could also preview the print set anytime during the entire project lifecycle. It allows you to specify model selection and fence creation methods. You could also use pen tables or design scripts or even both to re-symbolize your elements. There are many characteristics of the print organizer that we shall watch in a video that follows later. For now, I'd also like to bring to your notice there are different file formats that are supported by print organizer, some of which are DGN and DWG. Then we have your PDF. And lastly, we have raster, which supports extensions like TIFF, JPEG, BMP, CLS, PNG, SID, and much more. Now, the most important bit to remember while working in the print definition properties is the pen table that is available in the print definition creation option dialog. Pen tables and design scripts allow you to re-symbolize your design like I mentioned earlier. What does this mean? In other words, you can produce printed outputs that look different from the on-screen view of the design. Now, pen tables are created using the print dialogs pen table editor while design scripts are created using a text editor which is very similar to a notepad. Now remember that pen tables and design scripts are ASCII files uh, and are stored in a file on disk. They're supported in both print organizer and the print dialog. Now I want to show you this another pop-up here. Now we also have a variety of options to explore within the print definition creation option that allows you to have specific defined standards to your printed outputs. We shall look at more of this in the video that I'm about to play now. Now, in this video, here you can see that the print organizer can be accessed from the files menu. Let me show you how. Here you go to print, you click on print organizer and that opens the print organizer dialog. Now, once the print organizer dialog is open, you can add files to this in two ways. You could either use this option available in the tools menu or you could go to the file drop down option to your left. Yeah, in the drop down menu, you could select add files to set. Once you select either of the two, you click on that. It This opens your create print definition pop up. Here you could click on add and select the file you could select one or many and then you click on done you could see it's auto populated here and then you select the print style that you want to apply and then you click on ok then you have the manually specified options once you click on that another dialog opens which allows you to have specific definitions here you could see the drop down Select an option that you like. Now here, these are the main settings. This is the pen table that I was talking to you about earlier. 
select the file that you want then select the design script that you would like to define once you've done the two there are a variety of other options and settings available here there are lots of options available in layout like this unit the scale rotation origin you could define any based on your desire and then you have fence references once you've selected all this you click on okay it auto populates here then you click on okay again and the print organizer status starts to run once all of this is done you will see that all your files are now only available in the print organizer dialog here everything that you selected is available here you could right click on any of these files select a file right click and you could check the properties and cross check if all your properties are correct and you could also remodify any settings that you like and then you click on okay now from file option you could either print or you could use the print option or you could directly print it from the option available in the tools menu before you do that you could also check a preview of the print that you're about to uh, give command to once you've checked out the preview and if you're ready to print your output you click on print setup you select the file and then you say okay you have an option to submit it as a single print or a separate print job you define that setting as well select the folder that you would like to save all your prints at and then you say okay once you hit okay the print organizer status starts to run and all your files will now be saved in the folder that you selected this is batch printing thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a like and share it with others if you want to see more like it please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you, and see you next time.